Hello everyone. Welcome to Mechanical Software Education channel. In this video you are going to learn about the stress analysis of a stepped bar with two different materials by using ANSYS. Look at this drawing. You can see two different material. One is aluminium and also steel. This is a stepped bar. Here each and every material, uh, one side of uh, material is fixed. Here the aluminium side, the left hand side is fixed and uh, for steel uh, the right hand side is fixed so the entire length for uh, both the material is 500 so for aluminium it is 200 and the steel having 300 and the extra inputs we are going to give in ANSYS that is for aluminium the area is 1000 millimeter square and the Young's model is 0 0.7 into 10 power 5 newton per mm square and for steel the area is 2000 millimeter square and Young's modulus is 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. So the common data for uh, aluminium and uh, steel, which is a Poisson's ratio, that is 0 0.3. And a load which is acting at exactly at the center, it is a intermediator of uh, uh, aluminium and uh, steel point. Uh, either it should be of uh, number 2. Uh, make sure this point should be of uh, 1. Uh, this point should be taken as 3. So this is the nodal point. So nodal node number 1, 2 and 3. So in node number 2 the load is acting in x direction as 4 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton. So we already know that uh, left hand and right hand is fixed. So the uh, displacement what we are going to take as u1, u2 and u3. So here it is fixed. So uh, the value is given as 0 and uh, on the left hand side it is also fixed so the value is given as 0. So we need to find uh, the displacement at exactly at the point 2. So normally what we are going to find is the displacement, uh, reaction force and also stresses in this stepped bar. So here all the dimensions are in millimeters so with the help of these data we can draw the stepped bar and we can solve with the help of uh, answers. Okay, we now start with the uh, preferences. Go to structural, go OK, preprocessor, element type, add my element as link 3D finite strain 180. So this is commonly stands for link 180. So the explanation is available in uh, the trust problem. It is in the description. Go and study the uh, material properties likewise. Uh, in this material model, we need to go for uh, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. So for the first element we can check here we have uh, two different materials one is aluminium and also steel. So here for aluminium it is uh, uh, the Young's modulus value is 0 0.7 E5 and for steel uh, 2 E5 we need to give the value here 0 0.7 E5 and the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 and give OK. For the first material it is uh, uh, aluminium and we need to go for second material go to new model and the ID is given as 2 and now go to isotropic it is uh, the steel material that is 2E5 and the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 so we completed two different uh, 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 properties for their material that is uh, for aluminium and also steel go to close and go to sections uh, select link add my link the first link as aluminium so give OK and uh, now I am giving some uh, short alphabet like uh, A. A stands for aluminium and uh, now I need to give this data for aluminium that is for area. Area is 1000 for aluminium and uh, 2000 for steel. So give 1000 as uh, the area for aluminium and give OK. And now add and give the second number and give OK and give yes uh, yes is a short form for steel and give the uh, data for area as 2000 millimeter square give ok so now go to modeling create create nodes in active coordinate system so starting with the first uh, uh, node uh, it should be mainly in origin so give apply and for second node the distance is 200 for the entire length of uh, the aluminium give apply 
and for third material or sorry the third uh, node number it should be 200 plus 300 it is 500 give okay so we just created three nodes one two and three now we need to connect this uh, nodes with the help of elements go to element attributes we can check uh, whether our uh, two materials are there we can check for first material is uh, uh, aluminium and for second material it is a uh, steel and uh, this A and S stands for the link number here we gave the area for aluminium and also steel so we just start with the first uh, uh, material that give ok and go to auto numbered through nodes starting with the first node and the second node we just give ok so now go to element attribute we just want to change the uh, material number as 2 because we completed the aluminium as our material we just join the first node and the second node that line denotes that it is aluminium and we need to join the second node and the third node with the help of this uh, we need to change this attributes uh, from 1 to 2 and from aluminium to steel give ok and from through nodes we just join node number 1 and node number 3 give ok so we connected all the lines and uh, no need to go for meshing because we created nodes and also elements so no need to uh, discretize the entire uh, 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 length some uh, something so go to solution define loads apply structural on the displacement go to uh, on nodes so m for our problem for two different materials our left side and uh, right side is fixed so give ok and go to all degrees of freedom and just arrest the first and the third node and now give force or moment in the uh, center node that is 2 the load which is acting in the x direction so you can check the load is 4 e5 newton okay so 4 e5 give okay so the load is acting in the x direction so that's all we can easily solve this problem go to current tell us give okay and just wait and solution is done okay now we need to check our results with the uh, this post processor uh, go to plot results and uh, deform shape first so normally it is not uh, visible here so we can check because uh, our left and right side is uh, fixed so uh, the deformation should be happens in this region so go to def uh, nodal solution degrees of freedom solution and go to uh, displacement vector sum give okay the uh, displacement is maximum exactly at this uh, second nodal point you can go to uh, style size and shape which is on this display of element you can convert this entire drawing from 2d to 3d so you can check we already gave our uh, load in the second node so that's why the uh, maximum uh, displacement happens in this region because I already told you that uh, left hand and the right hand is fixed so the displacement is 0 in this region so u1 is 0 u3 is 0 so we can find the value of u2 ok now we can uh, check the answer for stress so the maximum stress happens in the uh, largest uh, cross section for uh, steel that is 158.416 uh, 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 newton per mm square so with the help of uh, these data uh, we can uh, check with our uh, nautical parameters and also we can go to uh, read uh, list results uh, go to nodal solution we can check the uh, displacement vector sum so how the values are here we just check that uh, ux this is the uh, u sum that is displacement uh, vector sum so uh, u1 value is 0 u3 value is 0 uh, we can check in node number 1 and node number 3 so the values for u2 that is 0 0.23762 mm is your answer okay so this is the exact answer for uh, uh, displacement and now we can check our answer for stress go to stress and check the one mesh stress and here comes the stress value for uh, first uh, uh, node, second node and third node and here we can check here 83.168 is the answer for uh, node number 1 
and here we can check 158.42 this is the uh, minimum value in the node number 3 and the maximum um, value it should be uh, attained in a node number 1 so that is 83.168 so normally we can also check with the help of uh, this element table define table go to add uh, in this we can check the uh, by sequence number and uh, load step as 1 so always we can use this load step to find the exact stress value so go to line element result and here comes this load step 1 so we can check this one so maximum value is uh, uh, 83.1683 and the minimum value is minus 158.416 Newton per m of square actually uh, in the link 180 problem we can also take uh, second uh, load step term this uh, ls1 stands for uh, node number i and uh, for 2 this stands for node number j so we can check uh, this values through this uh, 1 and 2 we can check uh, the values is almost the same so i node and j node so this is the starting point of uh, the second element so this is this this could be i node and j node so with the help of uh, these data we can check uh, uh, the numerical values with the analytical parameters okay so uh, now we can animate uh, these results in uh, stress you can check here in oblique go to animate results go to stress in one wishes so how the stresses uh, happens maximum in this region so uh, with the help of uh, these data we can uh, validate your results okay so uh, hope you can understand all these uh, things uh, thank you very much guys subscribe my channel and support me if you gain more knowledge through uh, this kind of videos Press like and comment. Thank you.